This is question number six from your clinical math practice exam, and it's about dopamine. You have a patient weighing 154 pounds who is hypotensive, and you've been ordered to administer a dopamine infusion at 8 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The dopamine concentration is 400 milligrams and 250 mLs, and you have a 60 drop set. What is the flow rate? Okay, so we'll start. We know that our answer is going to be drops per minute. So we'll start there. Equals. And whenever we have a flow rate, the next thing we want to enter in is our drip set. So we have a 60 drop set. We're one milliliter times our concentration on hand is 400 milligrams and 250 mLs. Now since the milliliters are on the denominator here, we want to put that in the numerator up here. So that way we'll be able to cancel them out later. So 250 milliliters over 400 milligrams times our desired dose which is 8 micrograms per kilogram per minute. And when we do that, we'll put 8 micrograms on top. That way we'll be able to cancel these out later. Kilogram per minute on the bottom. Now, we need our weight, which is 154 pounds. Using the 10% rule, 2 goes at 154 pounds, 2 goes into 15 7 times, with 1 left over, 2 goes into 14 7 times, minus 10% of that, which would be 7.7. .7. 10 minus 7 is 3, so right away we know we're going to round down. 6. 16 minus 7 is 9, 69.3, so we're going to be working with 69 kilograms. And we'll make that over 1, just so we know it's a numerator and a denominator. Next, we need a conversion formula because our concentration is in milligrams, but our d dose, ordered dose, is in micrograms. So since we have micrograms on top, milligrams on the bottom, we're going to put one milligram on top equals a thousand micrograms on the bottom. So now let's see what we can cancel out. Any unit in the numerator we can, or on the top of the equation, we can cancel out if it's on the bottom. So milligrams, milligrams, kilograms are over here, kilograms are over here. We have minutes on the bottom. Micrograms are up here, micrograms are here. Milliliters are here, milliliters are here. So just to make sure we included everything that we need, or we don't have anything extra, drops per minute over here, drops per minute over here. Now we can also cross out some zeros. So we can take 60, I just move left to right with the zeros, 250 over 400, we can cancel that zero out. So now let's rewrite everything we have left after everything that's been canceled out. So we have six drops, over 1 times 25 over 4 times 8 over 1 minute times 69 over 1 times 1 over 1,000. Okay, so here's where the math comes in. Just move left to right. 25 times 6. So 
6 times 5 is 30, 2 times 6 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 150 times 8. 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, times 69. Nine times zero is zero, nine times zero is zero, two times nine is eighteen, nine times one is nine, plus one is ten, six times zero is zero, six times zero is zero, two times six is twelve, six times one is six, plus one is seven. Sorry, this all got kind of jammed up in the corner here. Zero, zero, eight. Eight. So we're left with eighty two thousand eight hundred over four times one thousand, which is four thousand. So what can we cancel out now? 0, 0, 0, 0 equals 40 divided by, uh, let me move this. Divided by 828. 40 goes into 82 twice. 20 times 40, or 40 times 2 is 80. 40 goes into 28 zero times, but we'll add a decimal and a zero, bring down the zero, and we can cancel out the zeros and just do 4 into 28 is 7, and we can stop there because we're going to drops. We're going to round this up to 21 drops per minute.